Joined now by Arkansas head coach Dave Van Horn, center fielder Andrew Benintendi, and starting pitcher today Trey Killian. As a reminder, please silence your phones and turn off all video capacities for your phone. There are no video allowed during this press conference. Coach, if you'd begin with an opening statement. Yeah, I thought uh, both starting pitchers, you know, Jones and, and then Trey, they both did a tremendous job, you know, pitching their teams into, you know, six, seven <laughs> inning. Uh, and both teams had a chance to win it. So it was, uh, it was a fairly well played game. Uh, you know, a couple of things hurt us, you know, we hit into three double plays. We didn't get a bunt down. Uh, and a lot of times you don't get the bunt down, you end up hitting into a double play. It's kind of the way the game works. Uh, you know, just give credit to Virginia. I mean, I don't know how many runs they've scored with two outs, but I'm going to think four. <laughs> and they got the big hits, and uh, their pitchers got out of some good jams. And we left <clears throat> we left too many runners on early in the game. We had a chance to bust it open. And, uh, you know, Jones did a great job of getting out of it. But, uh, you know, it was a good ball game. We'll open the floor to questions. Once again, please remember to introduce yourself and the media entity you represent. Bob. Yeah, this uh, Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. This is uh, for for Dave and and, and maybe um, uh, Trey too. I think all I think all five of Virginia's runs came with two outs. Just and you guys kind of had some trouble with runners in scoring position. I think you got the leadoff guy on six times and he only came around twice. Just how, how big a difference were, were those two factors in the game? And well, if Trey could talk about their two out hits too. Well, you know, I mean, that's that's kind of the way the game went. We we kept getting runners on and you know we didn't we didn't punch them in and uh, they did and that that was the difference in the ball game yeah you know they had those runs or those hits with uh, <clears throat> two outs and uh, you know they were all mistakes by me for the most part uh, the home run was supposed to be a fastball in and it was a fastball up and over the middle of the plate and uh, you know there in that fifth inning I kind of got lazy with the breaking ball and uh, wasn't throwing it as hard as I was in that early in the game and it didn't have as much bite. So I was leaving it up and, you know, they capitalized on my mistakes. They're a good team. Uh, they got a solid lineup and most of the time in this league and especially here in the College World Series, if you make a mistake, other teams are going to take advantage of it. Fourth row. Steve Selner, NCAA.com. Dave over here. Um, were you surprised at how aggressive Virginia was on the base pass? They were five for eight uh, in stealing, uh, particularly in the eighth inning. Yeah, they, uh, they took advantage of uh, Jackson being a little slow to the plate there, you know, that was a good move. The very first pitch they stole second, but when they stole third, I think the runner kind of gave it away away. And I think that we should recognize that on the mound. You know, sometimes you just have to, you have to peek, you have to look around a little bit and get an idea of what's going on. He kept creeping, you know, it probably should have just done a little inside move right there. Uh, whether he went or not, slowed it down. Uh, you know, we threw him out three times, but they also stole five bases. Um, so, you know, hats off to them. Bob Holt, ADG, and um, I guess for Dave and, and you guys too, you know, Zach's been so dominant in the postseason. I know he's human too. Just what did y'all think of, of his performance today? Andrew, could you begin for us, please? Um, I don't know. I thought he hit his spots for seeing him from center field. Um, they just hit it. That's all I got. Coach, do you have anything? Yeah, you know, uh, I think the pitch, there was there was one pitch there in the eighth and in, in the, the top of the eighth with – I think it was with a full count. The 2-2 pitch was close, probably a little bit out. The, the full count pitch, we, we thought we – or maybe it was a 1-2 pitch. It was close, made it 2-2. And then 2-2, we thought we had it. And uh, he called it just off the plate, whatever. The next pitch was double down the right field line. And sometimes you get those those calls, sometimes you don't. And, and uh, you know, just a, a credit to their hitter doing a nice job with the next pitch. And <laughs> he threw it away, and he, he didn't try to do too much with it. He just hit it hit it down the right field line, went oppo. And, you know, all of a sudden they had the lead. And uh, that, that was obviously a, a big at bat. John? Uh, yeah, John Manuel, Baseball America for Andrew. Andrew, if you could talk about your second and third at bats, the sack fly and the home run. It seemed like you almost mishit the sack fly a little bit. And the, what adjustment did you make from the second to the third at bat that resulted in the home run? Um, the sack fly, uh, my hand slipped on the bat, um, but I was fortunate enough to get it far enough to, to joke at score. And um, the next at bat, I just got a fastball in and uh, kept my hands in. In the third row. Yeah, Andrew Rance, Packer Schultz with the early progress for, for Coach Van Horn. Just 
you know, Kenny Towns for Virginia has, has had a lot of at-bats, you know, on this kind of a similar stage. Just what was your scouting report on him and how tough is he in that type of situation? You had him at, at, a, at a full count there in that spot in the eighth inning. Well, awfully, he's awfully good. He's got a lot of RBIs, and he's hitting in the four-hole for a reason. Um, you know, we, we tried to get him looking for a breaking ball with uh, two strikes on him, you know, in the middle of that count. And we zipped a couple fastballs. Like I said, we didn't get it. And, uh, you know, then he did a nice job with that last pitch. He's just a good hitter. He's a clutch hitter. I mean, that's what it's all about, and that's what it takes to win this time of year. you got to get big hits and make pitches. You know, we've been doing it. Uh, for the last few weekends, and, and today it just didn't happen for us. Uh, Jim Schoenert from Baseball America uh, for Coach and Andrew. Uh, uh, what effect did them bringing spores in have on you guys, what you're trying to do offensively? Let me think. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> see, I think his fastball was about 90, and his slider was about 85, 86. So. I think maybe we were too jumpy. Um, his slider had a lot of bite up to it, so I mean, he seemed to be throwing it in any count. So uh, I don't know. He just did a good job. He hadn't given up very many hits. If you look at his numbers, he didn't give up very many. He didn't today. He gave up what, what, one hit to us, two hits, maybe one. Struck out five. Uh, just a good pitcher. Uh, really, really tough on right-hand hitters as well. Yeah. Trey, if, if, if you could answer that question I asked a minute ago about you know Zach not being his usual dominant self, and, and Dave, I know it was a tough loss, but you didn't have to eat up too many, too many pitchers. How, how big is that when you got to come back Monday? And do you have any idea who, who you're going to start? Trey, if you'd begin. Yeah, uh, I mean, like you said, you know, we've relied on Zach Jackson all year, and uh, you know, more often than not, he's gotten the job done for us. And today was a, a prime example of the game of baseball. You know, he made quality pitches. I feel like. Uh, got to a 3-2 count on, on that guy in the eighth inning. And, uh, you know, he has a great breaking ball, and not very many people can hit it, unfortunately. Uh, you know, he got the bat on the ball. And, I mean, any other day that could have been hit right at someone, but it just so happened today it didn't didn't fall our way. And, you know, he hit it on the line, and they scored, and they had the lead. And, uh, you know, we couldn't uh, come back and, and score after that. So, But uh, Zach Jackson's going to be just fine. Bob, if you could repeat the question yeah. for Coach. Um, Dave, I know it was a tough loss, but you only had to use Trey and Zach today, so you didn't have to eat up two, two, you know, as many pitchers as maybe you would have had to. How big was that for Monday, and do you know who you're going to start Monday? Yeah, it, I mean, obviously, uh, we have, you know, we used a starter and a reliever, and I think, you know, Jackson will be available again on, on Monday and, uh, you know, the rest of the guys, so. You know, we, we feel good where we're out there. Uh, you know, as far as who's going to start, we, we haven't made that decision left yet. I think that what we'll do is, you know, look at McKinney and uh, Jackson Lowry and, and uh, make a decision between those two. Any further questions? I'll take two more. Bob? I guess this is for Dave and, and all you guys. I mean, you guys have been very resilient this season. How, how do you think you'll bounce back from, from a tough loss like this? Trey, would you begin with that for me? Um, I mean, you know, we got tomorrow to uh, kind of sit back and, and maybe uh, think about it a little bit. But we're going to have to move on from this game, obviously, and, uh, you know, see who we're going to play uh, after the game tonight. And, I mean, we're going to be fine. You know, we have been all year. We've, uh, we've lost games all, all year and, and came back from them just fine. Uh, I think on Monday we're going to come back out. And whoever we throw on the mound, we're going to take care of business. And, our, you know, our hitters are going to get it done. So we're pumped. Coach, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you just try to learn from each game and, uh, you know, move on. It's, it's, you know, now we're down to, you know, the same situation that we were in this past Sunday. You know, it's, it's win or go home. So, uh, you know, we'll bounce back and we'll play hard. And, you know, it's great competition. And uh, whoever we play is going to be in the same boat we are. So uh, we'll just, we'll just uh, you know, relax, go practice tomorrow, and uh, get ready to play on Monday. Seeing no further questions, Coach Van Horn and the players, thank you very much for joining us. If you have individual questions, please coordinate with Arkansas SID David Beals, and they will be available under his discretion. Arkansas will play again on Monday, June 13th at 2 p.m.
receivers out. Representing Virginia, head coach Brian O'Connor, Connor Jones, Daniel Pinheiro, and Kenny Towns. Coach, if you'd begin with an opening statement. Uh, thanks, Glenn. Uh, that in the first World Series game of, of, uh, of this year, that um, certainly was a uh, an excellent ball game, hard fought on both sides. Just really, really proud of our team for again continuing to, to find a way to to win a ball game. It's kind of that that ball game is kind of how we've played for the last couple of weeks. I thought, you know, Connor Jones certainly didn't uh, have his best stuff, but he grinded and gave us six innings. Uh, I thought he did a tremendous job, and certainly we were. We were very, very aggressive. Our, our plan coming into this World Series was to be very aggressive and take the fight to the other teams. And certainly, we did that from an offensive standpoint. And you know, both of these guys up here had some big hits for us. Uh, Danny certainly having the three stolen bases was was big for us. And and uh, just proud of our guys that they continued to to grind it out and find a way. We'll open the floor to questions. Once again, introduce yourself and the agency you represent. Starting here in the front corner. Matt. Matt DeMarinas, White and Blue Review. To Kenny and Daniel, if you can just talk about the two-out approach today. It seems like whenever you guys got two outs and you had runners in scoring position, you are able to bring them in. And then Connor, whenever Arkansas had runners in scoring position, you guys were able to get, you know, make a pitch, make a play to get out of it. If you guys can just address that, please. Connor, if you'd begin. Um, yeah, well, you know, going back to earlier this year, I found myself in quite a few situations where there were runners on base a lot and in scoring position. So, you know, it's not the first time I've been in that situation this year. It felt like almost every inning I threw, there were runners in scoring position. So um gotten pretty uh, used to, you know, kind of, uh, you know, pulling it together and having to make a big pitch there. And, you know, I thought Ernie made a great play on the double play and, uh, and Danny in the middle. So, um, you know, we are uh, fortunate enough to make plays. Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> no, Kenny. <laughs> I mean, um, one thing we like to focus on with the runners in scoring position, especially like runners on second base with two outs, is you, just, you don't want to do too much. You just want to go out there and try and hit the ball in the barrel and hit a line drive or a ground ball somewhere. And um, you know, we were able to make some good swings in those situations. I remember like Danny had like a really good swing on a pitch high and in and was able to get it over third baseman's head to get, get that first run across. And um, we had a lot of guys have good at bats with runners in scoring position to put a lot of pressure on those teams. Daniel, you have anything to add? Yeah, we were just trying to put the ball in play um, anyway, anyhow, and it worked out for us. And uh, you know, we shortened up our swings a little bit uh, with two outs just to you know make the defense work a little bit. And uh, we came through and did a good job with that. All right, here in the front, Eric. Then we'll go to Bob. Eric Bullen, Arkansas News Bureau for Danny and Kenny. Uh, Killian and Jackson are two guys you saw last year. How much did that familiarity help you in your at-bats today? Um, I mean, we, we just came out, you know, we wanted to be aggressive. Um, you know, the two good pitchers are great. They're great pitchers. And Killian came out and he shoved. And, um, you know, we, d we did a good job, uh, you know, putting the ball in play, um, you know, just staying back and trying, trying to work, work it to the other way. You know, Kenny had a good, had a good hit down the other right field line. And um, it worked out for us. I mean, um, we had some video on those guys from like the last time we faced them. Um, I mean, it's hard to say that they pitched like the exact same way, but we we're able to kind of figure out what what sort of um, stuff they did in certain situations. It gave us give us a little bit of insight about it. But I mean, they came out there and kind of pitched in a different way today, so we were just able to kind of stick to our main approach and just go out there and try to hit some balls hard. Bob. Uh, Bob, oh, sorry. Uh, Bob Hold Arkansas, Derek Craig is at newspaper. You know, Kenny, you're down one two against Jackson. Most guys don't survive that. Could you maybe go in depth about that at bat and what was going through your mind and just how how tough he is and you getting the hit and if if uh, Coach O'Connor could could address that that at bat too and just how, how he came through there for you. Kenny, if you'd begin. Right. Um, yeah, he he, he had some he had some good stuff. I saw saw like his fast one was breaking ball, but um. He got ahead on me, and I was kind of in the defensive right away. But when I got to one-two, I was just to make sure, like Danny was saying, you got to put the ball in play with two strikes. And I was able to, I was able to take some close pitches and kind of get myself in a better count with a full count. And I um, was able to see that breaking ball pretty well and put a good swing on it. Coach, certainly, I thought it was the the at bat of the game. You know, uh, Jackson's their guy. Kenny's driven in runs for us all year long. Uh, certainly falls down and works to three two. What a what a great two strike approach you know he had for those last 
uh, three pitches and Jackson throws him a 3-2 breaking ball and he's got a great approach and just hits the ball the other way. So, you know, those are the kind of things that your players that have talent like Kenny does and they need to rise up to win games like this. When you're the, – the difference between winning and losing is so fine. Uh, that's a big reason why we brought Josh Spores in in the, in the seventh inning. And sometimes it's one hit like that that makes a difference and Kenny certainly delivered it. Aaron. Coach, uh, Aaron Fitt, Baseball America. Coach, you mentioned earlier you wanted to come out and be aggressive today. Um, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. The, the, the stolen bases, um, you know, you guys, I think you had 62 stolen base attempts all year long. Uh, and today you, you attempted eight, yeah. succeeded on five. Was that part of the plan coming into the game? Were you, were you planning to uh, try to test them on the base pass? Well, we, we saved them up, Aaron. Uh, you know, 60 stolen bases throughout the year isn't, isn't very many for a team that ends out being here, certainly. Um, so we kind of lulled everybody to sleep all year and then decided we'd start running today. Um, no, but really, uh, you know, uh, we, we got some good athletes, certainly. Um, you know, Danny did a nice job. You know, having three stolen bases, you know, we we were aggressive. Our plan was to, to be aggressive from the start if the if the situation uh, pr presented itself. And you know, Aaron, we we maybe didn't get here today, being in Omaha, playing it close to the vest. So here we are, and you know, a few chances taken today, and they worked in our favor. Most of the time, three times they didn't, but you know, kept trying. Yeah, Andrew Ransbacker, Daily Progress. First for Kenny and Danny, if you want to chime in. Kenny, what, what is it about the postseason stage that kind of makes you, you know, kind of bring your game up? Obviously, you've set the program record for postseason RBI, and then you know, for Danny, uh, does it surprise you anymore? Is that the guy you always want up there in that, in that type of situation? How confident are you when you see Kenny in the postseason, you know, in a tie game? Not. I said it. Um, Danny, if you'd begin. <laughs> no, I mean, having Kenny up there, you know, in a tight ball game, whenever it is, you know, at the end of the ball game, too, I have total confidence in him to, you know, get the big hit. Um, I really didn't think he was going to get out. I, I just knew he was going to get a big hit, and um, he did it. And, you know, he was down 0 2, came back, and put the ball the other way. It was great at bat. Kenny? <laughs> um, you know, and I think I think um, I, I just feel comfortable in the postseason. You know, the, the games are usually on the line this time of year, and it's just nice to come through for your club. But I think in the past couple of years I've been here, we've we've always been in the postseason. So I think I've just kind of gotten used to it and gotten comfortable in, the, in those situations. And you obviously just want to rise up for your team and and make give them a better chance to win. So I'm um, um, just fortunate to get in those opportunities and able to succeed sometimes. Kevin. Yeah, Kevin Brockway, Gaisel, send a question for Coach O'Connor. Uh, just how big is it to get in the winner's bracket early in a tournament like this? And then also, uh, have you thought about a game two starter? Our game two starter will be Brandon Waddell. Um, I think it's really important. Certainly, we showed that by, by going to Spores in the, in, the, in the seventh inning. We have a lot of confidence in Josh. He's really talented. You know, Connor was at 90 some pitches and that was a pretty hard 90 some pitches and you know um, I'm sure he wanted to stay in the game but we felt it was the right move to go to Spores who had been our, he's been our guy all year long so I, I, I feel it's you know important to win the first one obviously you win the first two it makes a big difference we were in that position last year so you know we'll see what happens on Monday night fourth row in the back uh, Steve Selner NCAA.com um, Back in the third inning, Danny, I'll start with you. Uh, the, st the decision to steal third, uh, was that, did you go on your own? Was that called? Uh, also, the steal is for second, too. And if it was called to steal third, uh, Brian, could you talk about the decision to do that with the uh, heart of the order up? Um, Danny first. I mean, I knew the pitcher had a high leg kick, so I kind of, you know, wanted to take advantage of that. And uh, I was creeping a little bit um, towards third base, and I got a good jump. And I mean, it worked out in my favor. And it was a bad slide, but uh, it worked out. So that is that was on his own, just okay. so you know. Now does that freak you out when he does that? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, he did it. He did it last year um, in in the World Series. I'm not quite sure why he did it last year, but um, um, 
you know, Danny's a heady player. He's got he's got really good I instincts, and you know, I, I, it was a it was a good play. You know, certainly there's one out, and if he can get there, and Thice can, you know, hit a fly ball, it's the difference between a run and and, and not. And so, and earlier on, when he was on second base with two outs, he was jumping around. I thought he was going to go, and I was in the dugout saying, "Please, Danny, you know, not not now." So. Um, Good ag aggressive heads up play, Pop. Um, yeah, Coach. What, what what makes Josh such a dominant closer, and, and what do you think his performance today? And maybe for any one of the players, how, how good do you guys feel when you got a lead late and, and he's in the game? Well, Josh's stuff is really good. Um, you know, certainly he's got a, a you know a fastball on some days that touches ninety five, ninety six. He didn't have his real good fastball today for whatever reason. You know, uh, but. Maybe he will the next time. And he's got a really good slider. He's got a curveball he uses every so often. Uh, but he throws strikes. He attacks you. You know, that slider is, what, 84 to sometimes up to 87, 88 miles an hour. That's a pretty darn good pitch. Um, so you have a lot of confidence in him that, you know, he's going to go at go at him and give him give his best. And he's been, you know, pretty darn near as good as you can be all year long for us. How, how good do you guys feel when? How good do you guys feel when you know you get a lead and Josh is in there? Kenny, yep. can you um, take this one? I mean, just just especially when you got when you got Josh going out there, especially the way he's been pitching recently, it, it's huge for us, and we know we have that confidence. And like like we did today, we can run out Connor Jones for six innings and then throw out Sports for three. There's, I, I challenge anyone to put up a better like couple guys in that, and just in Sports, he just goes out there and he attacks them, and he. he He's the guy you want in that situation. He's shown in the past couple of weeks, especially of late, that um, he wants to be that guy, and he's gone out there and done the job for us many times. Eric here in the front. We'll take two more questions after that. All right. Yeah, Andrew Ranspacker again, Daily Progress. Yeah, Danny, I think you stole third last year on an intentional walk. Um, <laughs> you entered today. <laughs> you entered today, I think, with just with just six steals. Uh, <laughs> how much did? How much do you, are you eager to get the running game going sometimes, and how, how important was that you know, at the end of the day uh, in, in winning this game? Daniel? I don't know. I saw something I could t take advantage of, and I got a huge lead, and it just kept creeping, and I just was like, all right, let's go, whatever. Um, <laughs> and I knew Thice, you know, having, having a person you know, on third base with one out and Thice up, it's almost a guarantee, and uh, I just wanted to be in you know, a good position for him, and uh, you know, I just went on my own. And, Worked out. All right, our final question in the front row here. <clears throat> Coach O'Connor, you guys have dealt with a lot of injuries this year, but it seems like, especially in big moments with, throughout regional plays, Super Regionals today, that the experience has kind of, kind of helped you in moments late in games, especially. I guess how important has that been to get to this point and going forward? Well, I think experience is, is very, very important. Um, you know, these guys all sitting up here have experience. You know, uh, Danny and, and Kenny were our left side of the infield here in Omaha last year. So, um, you know, it's like anything. If you have experience at, at doing it, you're going to feel more comfortable. You're going to feel more confident. And I think that's – I believe that's the way that our, our guys feel. And uh, I really feel like we've had uh, very, very good leadership on this team, especially down this stretch run. And I, I lastly, I'd say that part of our success – in this postseason this year has been, you know, a, a very relaxed but confident uh, attitude that this team has carried. And I think it's served us well, and hopefully it does moving forward. I'd like to thank Coach O'Connor and the players for joining us. If you have individual questions for Virginia or their student athletes, please direct them through the Sports Formation.